Hey everybody, welcome back to Battle Ready Inc. So today's video, we're covering Imperial Dramon, right? This is probably the most anticipated deck of the format. I know it is for me. This is the deck I am playing right out the gate. Uh, I personally feel that it's probably the best deck of the format, uh, right next to security control. Uh, the only problem with security control is if your uh, security isn't exactly up to snuff, this deck can just take it over without question. Um, so that's the big difference between the two decks. So personally, I feel like this is probably the better one to go with, and it's just all around just an incredible deck. Probably the fastest deck I've ever played, and that's saying something because Armors is also exceptionally fast, but this this deck literally you can just wait and then once you're ready you can just pop off and just go completely nuts with it so um we'll go ahead and jump into this don't forget our memory marker this month that came out is Cocomon. So if you're playing a Cherubimon deck in BT7 or you're going to uh, build a Cherubimon deck in BT8, this is a great memory marker for that deck, I think. Uh, super cute handmade out of clay by my wife. Hand-painted face as well. You can find this on our Etsy store. Link in the description below. Also on that store, you can find all of our previous memory markers we've had on the channel as well as some of our Battle Ready Ink merch. All right, so go ahead and show the, the whole thing here for you. It's a little weird looking at first. Um, we are two cards over, um, but that's because I want to talk about these two cards at the end. Um, so there's going to be a little bit of debate. There's going to be some uh, variance in the builds, and it's particularly uh, at the top end and in the removal department. But I think at the uh, level five and below, even for the most part, most of the level six and below, it's pretty much uh, pretty standard stuff here. Uh, first up for our babies, we have Upamon. Uh, we don't have we have a little bit of jamming in the form of XVmon. Um, so you could argue running the X or running just the the Demi Vmon instead. I like the Upamon just because it's so generic. Uh, lots of cards this format are getting hard played between searchers and uh, or just other general things. Uh, there's a whole list of different reasons to hard play this format. Um, looking at uh, Mass Demon as well for their yellow level fives. So there's a, a decent amount on field that's going to have no inheritables. So I think Upamon getting that draw power is uh, pretty uh, reliable, I would say. And then the alternative, and I am running five babies because I think just spamming out your rookies as fast as possible is pretty, uh, like, not not too far off the cuff for this deck. But we have Demi Vmon, so if you have jamming, trigger draw one. Now this one also isn't too bad because your ideal target to Evo in raising area is always going to be your ex Vmon who has jamming. Um, so if you do that, it's fine. But if you go Rageramon, because you don't draw into the XVmon, because you don't have, and you need the Rageramon to supplement your blue, uh, then you're not going to get any value off of Demi Vmon. Demi Vmon. So I think the Upamon is just slightly uh, better than the Demi. Um, but I think both are uh, fantastic choices. Next up, we have our Vmon count, and we are running all Vmons um, because of the fact that Rageramon here evos for two costs on top of Vmon. So we basically always want to make sure we have a Vmon available uh, in case we need to go Rageramon on top of one. And uh, so our first uh, Vmon here, this is the uh, the new one out of BT8, and this is the on play for three play costs. Reveal the top four cards of your deck. Add one two colored card with blue among them to your hand. Return the rest to the bottom of the deck. Um, so all of your two colored cards, that's gonna be all your level four or not, all, but one of your level fours, all of your level fives, uh, your level sixes here. Um, and it says cards. I, I need a, I haven't, uh, seen otherwise, but if it's just card, it could also potentially add your duo tamer. Who's also blue and green. Um, so we need to just double check that final text that, uh, releases from Bandai to make sure it's actually cards that we can add off this. So that's really powerful. Top four for anything uh, or any of your, your main pieces. So once you get, you have a rookie on field clearly. So you basically just need to be looking for level fours and higher. So you have a pretty good chance of hitting uh, most things. Uh, the other Vmon we're playing though, this is the one from the new starter deck that actually goes with the, the Pyoldramon deck. And this is on play for a three play cost of reveal only the top three instead of top four. However, it's add one free type among them to your hand instead uh that's gonna be all of your vmon as well so if you whiff on hitting any of your other bigger stuff i mean all of this other stuff all the way up to uh yeah, fighter mode here is a free type so you have a, a much larger pool to choose from than only duo color um so it also includes all your vmons um as well as like your xvmon and your steammon there um so it's a, i like it a little bit better for that 
Um, so just kind of keep that in mind as well. Um, these are going to be your, your big searchers. Next up, we got our preferred uh, Evo in raising area. And first one, we got Vmon. This is if you unsuspend as an inheritable, gain one memory. Uh, with Pyildramon, you'll you'll pretty much always be triggering this. Um, unlike in armors where you may or may not get to unsuspend, uh, use through an effect like a duo tamer um then th it was a little more like unreliable i would say um just a little too dependent on other cards and i just i don't think that's really how to play these really ex exceptionally fast strategies and then the other vmon that i chose to go with you could supplement this one for the unsuspend to draw from way back in bt2 the very first vmon you could go with that one to unsuspend draw um but i like this vmon because it's just if i have seven or fewer cards in hand trigger draw one as an inheritable when attacking so if i'm attacking with my rage Ramon, if i'm attacking with x vmon you know, whatever I'm going with, and I'm swinging with, I'm going to get that value. Uh, if I go into a Dino Beamon and I, I'm not unsuspending, I'm just attacking, I'm still going to get that draw. Uh, if I DNA Digivolve right into one of these guys and then I go into um imperial german dragon mode here uh and i spit out my uh you know some of my inheritables there i'm i still need to be able to get more draws later on so um i think the uh the the vmon here for when attacking drawing is a little bit better than the unsuspend draw because that one only combos perfectly with pineal uh, aside from that you're relying too much on this duo tamer to get that whereas this just works it just works all the time especially early game phenomenal in early early game. All right, next we got our level four package. First, we got XV Mon. He really makes this whole deck possible. Without him, with this inheritable of jamming, uh, yeah, you would have a really tough time because uh, if your Pyildramon ever dies in security, then you're, a huge part of your combo goes out the window and you have to restart your whole process over again. And sometimes that's just not exactly doable. Um, I really like also that he has jamming as a main uh, ability as well. So you can swing with this, get a, a uh, check and then Jogress or DNA Digivolve into Pyeldramon and get two more checks. So just him having jamming also just kind of ensures his safety. Uh, so you can get a little bonus uh, freebie check uh, before you go into your DNA Digivolve. So extremely powerful card. Absolutely love this guy. Uh, cannot wait for uh, Ultimate Cup and uh, they release the the new artwork for him. So I can I definitely want to get my hands on those and replace these in my deck. I know for sure. Next, we got Stingmon. This is going to be your go-to green uh, to DNA Digivolve with. So while you have a blue Digimon in play, reduce the memory cost to play this card from your hand by one. So he's a three play cost. If you have a memory fixer on field, I mean, that's just right there, combo. So you can play this out, uh, promote or promote up an XVmon or a Ragermon from Raising Area, hard play the Stingmon, and then DNA Digivolve, and you're off to the races. Uh, and then, like, not only that, like, we would play him just for that, but he also has a great inheritance of when attacking if you have a blue digimon in play trigger draw one so whoever is on top of him for the most part except for like maybe our level sevens um and even then as long as you have another blue digimon in play you're still fine but you can draw one and this isn't once per turn so if you go into pyildramon and he attacks twice you get a draw for each of those attacks um if you you know whatever kind of crazy plays you do i love this stingmon not being once per turn on this draw the the consistency in this deck is outstanding we have two searchers in two different vmon so that's eight searchers right there um, we have the vmon that lets us draw here which uh, also is not once per turn so keep that in mind uh, and then we have the stingmon as well that's not once per turn on draws that's a just an insane amount of draw power for sure and for these to be when attacking um and being able to attack twice with Pyeldramon, like that's such crazy value. Uh, you can play some skewed ratios in this deck a little bit uh, on like the particularly the higher end uh, of the deck, simply because you have so much uh, draw power in the low end of the deck. Uh, draw power and search power. Uh, and oh, and don't forget about our Upamons and Demi Vmons down here. So just a crazy, crazy amount of draw power. Next up, we got Ragermon, who, uh, someone did correct me, I, I keep forgetting, he does have a new name, and it is Lydramon for the English format, so uh, in addition to no longer being called Jogris, it's DNA Digivolve, and this is also Lydramon, um, Digivolve for two on top of Vmon, so all of our, our uh, rookies are Vmon, so we'll, he'll always just be a 
uh, to Evo, and this isn't being reduced or anything. This is just an alternate Evo cost, so keep that in mind. Uh, got that nice armor release, so if we want to swing in for uh, security for a little cheeky uh, extra hit, we can do that and still keep our rookie on field. That's very powerful. Um, you can either do some some neat combos if you have the memory for it. You can swing in with a Uh If he gets deleted, it's okay. If you you know you can Evo into a second one, and then you can still DNA Digivolve after that. Again, assuming you have the memory to do all this, uh, very, very powerful card uh, in armor release. Armor release is just so good. Uh, and next, we got when Digivolving. Suspend one of your opponent's level four or lower Digimon. This is a great way to clear blockers out of the way. Um, looking at uh, just the different decks in the format, X Antibody has their uh, the Darugamon, their level four that has blocker. So you can just suspend that and get that out of the way. That allows you to kind of go full combo and not have to worry about as many blockers. So being able to suspend those blockers is very, very good. Um, he's just a great all around card. So he just makes up for whatever you're missing. That's why. He we like him so much is because he's a duo color it's not really because of the armor release or the suspending it's because he's a duo color uh, we have four greens four blues um, but sometimes you know you might draw into you know you might not draw your sting mons at all and you just have xv mons well you can still go Lydramon here to make up for that and still get your green on board to go into your dna digivolve so duo color fantastic um, for any DNA Digivolve centric deck, I think it's pretty imperative if you're playing three different cards um, that can all DNA Digivolve as requirements. Uh, one of those three should at least be a duo color of both of them. Uh, I think that's a very smart play. Next up, we got uh, the Man of the Hour himself, Pyildramon. So normally for Evo costs, you will pretty much never do that. I say that. However, I have done it um, already, and I've only been testing this deck for you know a couple weeks now. And there's been a few times so far that I've just Evoed for four uh, and then still did my thing because his when attacking here once per turn unsuspend this Digimon. You know that's not reliant on him being uh, DNA Digivolved. I'm gonna try my best to drop saying Dragus. Um, but also, his when Digivolving, if this Digimon DNA Digivolve return one of your opponent's Digimon with 6,000 DP or less to the bottom of their owner's deck. This is so, like, crazy on the nose powerful 6000 dp or less um so typically we would think okay blockers a lot of those 6000 dp blockers that we've come to know and love um or just all these other blockers in general you know he's another way besides lydramon to remove a blocker uh from the field and as a threat but you know what we don't talk about enough that 6000 dp or less um all of those level fives that are used in Mastamon. All those uh, Mastamon level fives that it really likes using right now are all 6,000 DP or less. So that's uh, pretty good. So we're like perfectly counters uh, Mastamon. So pretty awesome. And then, yeah, being able to attack twice with this is just unbelievably strong. Next, we got Dino Beemon. This is our backup. Just at a two of here. Uh, we don't need to go too overboard, I don't think, in the, uh, the the level five department. We don't need to run eight copies or even nine copies of anything. Uh, the goal is basically Pyodramon Turbo. And then everything after that is just kind of support is all it is. It's just a little bit of support. Pyodramon on swinging twice every turn with jamming is gonna i mean that's what's really gonna win you the game uh, but this is a good backup if you can't draw into the pi Ildramon and you've got some really good level sixes that you can uh, still use um so again dna digivolve for a zero cost but when digivolving suspend one of your opponent's digimon anything there's no level restriction dp restriction nothing so anything you can go ahead and suspend it then if this digimon dna digivolves okay and that's also not even required to dna you can just evo for four and get that effect but also then if this digimon dna digivolve that digimon doesn't unsuspend during your opponent's next unsuspend phase so you can do this on something really powerful uh, what i really like uh just in theory is something like an alpha mon alpha mon that's got that reboot blocker so he's just a big uh terrible threat on field and you know he's got security attack plus one or plus two depending on all of the sources that he has um so being able to just suspend that and leave it suspended uh if you know you're not going to be able to win on the following turn i think that's a like fantastic 
um, ability for sure. As a good backup, he's he's a, just a good utility piece. Uh, and then has the inheritable for each of this uh, card's colors. This Digimon gets plus 1,000 DP. So he's basically going to give a plus 2,000 DP buff to whoever uh, Evo's on top of him between your other uh, level sixes here. Um, so in case they don't have jamming. But in theory, if you uh, DNA Digivolved, you should have the XV Mon jamming. Um, but if not, it's okay. That that 2K buff is is pretty massive on a 12K and a and a 13K. Uh, they'll be able to get pretty much over anything in the in the meta for the most part. Uh, next, we got Dragon Mode. This this card is so good. Um, so for Evo cost is fairly steep. Um, but there's kind of a little bit of ways to mitigate it. Um, if you have the, the duo tamer that'll let him unsuspend, uh, and you have the, uh, Vmon underneath that'll gain you a memory. That's kind of like making him a three Evo cost, uh, if you do it in that, uh, manner. But when digivolving, you may play one blue and one green level four or lower Digivolution card under this Digimon as another Digimon without paying it, uh, their cost. What's so great about that is you just play out those level fours that you use the DNA Digivolve. You play those guys out for free. And if you can keep it on your turn, either with a uh, uh, Hammer Spark for an extra memory or uh, the Vmon to get, you know balance you back out. If you can Evo into this and still keep it on your turn, you can then DNA Digivolve those two summons... With, two uh, Digimon that has summoning sickness, you can DNA Digivolve them again and then just swing uh, immediately because DNA Digivolve uh, Digimon do not have summoning sickness. So uh, very powerful combos with this guy. Uh, but that's really all he does. He's just an enabler to just repeat what you've already done. Uh, he's not like some big, huge power piece that's then going to like clear your opponent's board, delete a bunch of things, uh, get a whole bunch of security checks like our previous he's not like a boss monster in that sense of a previous imperial Jermon. um so just kind of keep that in mind he's just a utility piece to recycle uh and, and repeat combos um but we do have the fighter mode to combo with him. Also, at a two of, uh, you can digivolve from dragon mode for two costs. So essentially, he's transforming into this. Or you can evo for five, which is pretty steep. But he's got some nice abilities that uh, could be very important for you, uh, depending on the situation. When digivolving, return one of your opponent's Digimon with 10,000 DP or less to their owner's hands. Um, like, kind of how that's relevant is, uh, again, against the Mass Day decks that have these level fives. Um, that are super important for them to DNA Digivolve into Mass Daemon, being able to just bounce those right back to hand is very, very good. And sometimes that 5 Evo is totally worth that. I mean, at that point, you're just uh, you're two less than a uh, Kakaita's Breath at that point, right? And you get a 13k body on field that has this next effect when attacking once per turn. If this Digimon has a blue Digivolution card, uh, unsuspend one of your Digimon so he can unsuspend himself and attack again. Or you could unsuspend something else uh, in case you're worried about fighter mode dying in security. Uh, you can unsuspend something else um, so that way that can attack. Um, and then also if this Digimon has a green Digivolution card, uh, suspend one of your opponent's Digimon. So you could uh, potentially suspend a blocker before they could have a chance to block with it. Um, again, also no uh, no level or DP restriction on that suspend. So you can uh, theoretically suspend a you know a level six or something like that on field or or higher. Um, so very powerful, good utility card. Again, just that a two of for you never know um, if you want to go to Evo on top of Dragon Mode. And then if you don't want to do that on top of the Dragon Mode, if you just really need, need to remove something off field, that five Evo cost still might be worth it. 13,000 DP, also something not too shabby uh, for this format. A lot of 12K things running around. So him being at 13 uh, is actually pretty nice. Uh, then I've got uh, one Blitz Omnimon. Um, this deck, like I said, is so fast. It's super, super crazy aggro, and you can clear a whole bunch of security in one turn. And then Omnimon is kind of a way to help get you to the end uh, and take that last swing for you. So I like him as our level 7 for the deck. You'll notice that I have these guys down here at the bottom. First, we got... Paladin mode. Paladin mode is a very powerful card. I don't know if I want to run Paladin mode though. Um, so here's a, a few a few reasons why. One, he's a seven cost uh, level seven, not too unheard of. Um, it's I mean that's fairly common. Um, 
But also, when your Digimon would digivolve into, uh, I'm going to read this one down here, into this uh, card in your hand, you may return a one white level 7 card from your hand from your trash to the bottom of your deck to reduce the cost by four. So that kind of makes it a little bit better. So if you go into a second Paladin mode in game, or if you go like Blitz Omnimon, the Blitz Omnimon uh, still gets deleted. Uh, you can go into a, uh, a Paladin mode for three Evo costs by returning that Omnimon to the bottom of the deck. Or if you've already gone into one Paladin mode earlier in the game, you can go to a second. I can't imagine a scenario where that's like a thing, um, except for maybe if they uh, if you're playing against X antibody and they use that option that D digivolves one, uh, then you could just slap down another paladin mode. And like, that's a, like the biggest punish ever to that option card. Um, but a little tricky to get that pulled off reliably, but this next effect is so, so good when digivolving and when attacking, uh, not once per turn. So if you can digivolve into him and immediately attack afterward, you can trigger this twice. Uh, you may return one two color card from this Digimon's Digivolution cards uh, to the bottom of its owner's deck to trash all of the Digivolution cards of one of your opponent's Digimon. Then return all of your opponent's Digimon with no Digivolution cards to the bottom of their owner's deck in any order. Uh, if you saw the feature match, you saw how powerful this card was. Truly brutal, especially against Mass Daemon decks that keep hard playing out these level 4s and level 5s. Uh, it really punishes uh, those decks for sure. Uh, so I really, really digging this and then just being able... It's He's a great clear card. I mean, the Wind Digivolving is basically a guaranteed uh i can at least clear one big threat okay so it's almost like a gaia force or whatever you want to uh compare it to it's um or uh well it puts it to the bottom of the deck right it, it put it bottom decks it so it's even more powerful than, than gaia force in that regard so being able to bottom deck all these targets is really really strong uh it's a great form of removal uh the other alternative is Mega Death. So Mega Death, Death is suspend one of your opponent's Digimon, then return one of your opponent's suspended uh, Digimon to its owner's hand. So it's a five play cost. It is a duo color, so you do have to meet that duo color restriction. Um, I'm not a fan of this in armors, simply because there's just not enough green in the armor uh, version. You have four Lydramon and like two, maybe three duo tamers, and that's it. Uh, it's kind of could be potentially bricky or or useless so I'm, i don't like it too much there but here we have plenty of blue and green like this is, card is fine in this deck um so it is a pretty solid way to clear something now it does uh what i like about it a lot is it dodges all of these effects that are like destruction preventions so if you look at x antibody they use uh doru Greymon in the level five which uh, makes it so they can't be destroyed and they can't have their dp reduced well megadeth bounces to hand so you're fine there um and then uh, you know plenty of other situations so it bounces it to hand so not too bad again if you bounce a mass daemon deck or, or to hand like that's extremely difficult for them to get into another mass daemon very quickly um so five play cost really isn't too bad i really like it activates in security immediately so very, very powerful card for sure. Um, also, in security, it's pretty nice. So if they swing in with the, the Mega, you can suspend something else, then target that Mega and bounce that Mega to hand. So kind of like a, a double whammy there. So you definitely get that green effect of being able to suspend something, and then you get a, a, the blue effect of being able to bounce anything. So that same target or a different target. So really good stuff. Um, it kind of comes down to which form of removal do you like more? Um, and that's kind of the, the big issue here is I don't know if you need both necessarily. Do you need both Mega Death and Paladin mode? I think uh, Mega Death here is just kind of easy to pop off. Now, it's not bottom decking. It's only one target. Um, but typically, you're, you're using it, uh, removal cards on a single target. Paladin mode is also very, very strong. Uh, I've also debated running one Omnimon and one Paladin mode. Um, so that way we can still get the best of both worlds there. Uh, but then you got to find out, well, what do you cut there? Uh, you can maybe cut a hammer spark, but I really think hammer spark is very powerful in this deck. It's just very tricky of what to cut 
to fit this guy in there and keep the two mega death. I think keeping the two mega death is pretty important. Um, it's just an issue of trying to figure out what to cut to fit the paladin mode. Uh, if you have any suggestions, certainly uh, put your argument in the comment section below and uh, I'll definitely check it out. Next we got Davis. Uh, Davis is our memory fixer for the deck. Fantastic memory fixer, one of the best in the entire game. Uh, been that way for a while now, um, but the on play in this, this is like the best deck Davis has ever been in. Like he was pretty good in the old Imperial, but he is so good now with duo colors. Uh, so reveal the top three, add one blue and one green Digimon. Uh, say you reveal like just as an example, two Pyildramon. Um, you can choose one as your blue target and another one as your green target. Cause that's how duo colors work. They can like fulfill whatever role they need to in that moment. So you can technically grab the same card um, because one's blue and one's green uh, for the purposes of this effect. So I just love that. Uh, next we got the duo tamer. This card is also very, very strong. Uh, start of your main phase. If you have a blue Digimon in play, gain one memory. If you have a green Digimon in play, gain one memory. And this is at the start of your main phase. So if you promote up out of raising area, you can also count that because main phase starts after raising phase. So unsuspend, draw, uh, raising phase, then your main phase. So keep that in mind. Uh, if you promote up like a Lydramon that's blue and green, you can trigger both of these and gain two. Super, super strong. Uh, loving this card for sure. Uh, and then also this, this ability here is really, really strong in this deck. Uh, your turn when your Digimon Digivolves into a Digimon that has two or more colors, you may suspend this Tamer to unsuspend that Digimon. Now you might think, well, that's a little weird because if you DNA Digivolve, it comes uh, unsuspended and then it unsuspends itself after, you know, it attacks so like Pyeldramon, right? Um, where this is really, really strong is if you go into a dragon mode. So dragon mode could unsuspend or your fighter mode could unsuspend. So that's where you're going to get a little bit more value out of this. It's a little trickier to pull off. Um, what I really like doing is go Pyeldramon, swing once with Pyeldramon and we'll get it down to it, but hidden potential to uh, suspend the Pyeldramon to go into the dragon mode and then you can use the uh, duo tamer to unsuspend that dragon mode and so you didn't actually lose out on an attack um, because if you do it in that way it works out fabulously um, for sure. We got the one ice wall we should all know how powerful ice wall is at this point this deck doesn't have a whole lot of like defense besides like maybe some of these option cards getting hit in security uh it's all gas it's literally i need to win on turn two or three before my opponent can beat me uh because i have nothing to defend myself with um so ice wall is like that one defensive card that you know you gotta hold on to until the time is perfect uh and drop this like okay i can win next turn if they don't beat me this turn, I'm going to drop the ice wall. You know, that kind of situation. Next, we got four Hammer Sparks here. Very, very powerful card. Also, this is one of our other only defenses. Uh, if this card gets hit in security, it can save your life. Um, for real. So I, I really want to keep it at a four of. I don't want to cut it down uh, simply because um, we, we need it so badly in this particular build. Next up, we got Hidden Potential Discovered, which works great in this deck. Um, I think it's hilarious that that's Stingmon and Wormmon, so it's actually very perfect that it's here. Um, but the next time one of your green Digimon, which since we're dual colors, it does is considered green, uh, Digivolves this turn, you may suspend one of your Digimon to reduce the memory cost of the Digivolution by five. And then Security, add it to hand, so you don't lose it if it gets hit in Security. Um, so Reduce by five, that works for your, your fighter modes here, reducing it down to a zero Evo cost. Cost, and then works for your dragon mode reducing it to zero cost the big play is doing it on dragon mode like i said um and so that's like the main part of the deck i do want to also discuss this old forest vijramon i think it's kind of spicy um if you want to play more of this vmon here that has the inheritable of draw one when you attack uh if you really like this one and want to play a few more copies twelve thousand dp in this format is so good it's very very strong and then when digivolving return one of your opponent's level four or lower digimon to its owner's hands uh trash the rest um, like this is really good in against so many decks this format if hybrids stick around you're still hitting those hybrids you're you're hitting you know the the counters to this you're hitting armors it hits armors super strong oh my goodness being able to bounce a uh magnum onto hand would feel so bad um as you know the unarmor player so i really really like that nice utility to it 
Also, uh, when attacking once per turn, if you have eight or more cards in your hand, unsuspend this Digimon. So, like I showed you, all this this deck has so much crazy draw power. Like early on, like mid to late game, you're fine. You're covered on on cards in hand, uh, and so you can actually pop this off pretty easy. So that's another double attack. We've seen how powerful double attacks are with uh, the Pyildramon, right? So now we're just going to swing in with twelve thousand DP twice. Uh, also, very great card, and he's a level six, so he combos great with our. Blitz Omnimon, so we can go Blitz Omnimon on top of him if he, you know, clears enough security for us. Uh, I think he's a really cool spicy include. I hope this was uh, helpful for sure. If you have any recommendations for myself or for others, please put it in the comment section below as well.